But let me tell you, right here locally, crowds were on their feet for the premiere of Matilda the Musical on stage now, for November 8th at Shays Buffalo Theater. Based on the beloved novel by Roald Dahl, it's the story of an ordinary girl who dreams of a better life. Well, our guest this morning is probably the one cast member who does know every step and note of the show because Michael J. Jablonski, uh, Jablonski is the dance captain and swing performer in the show. And he is from West Seneca. That's pretty great. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much, Linda. You've got a great career going. Yeah, thank you. It's been, uh, it's been exciting to come back to <sighs> Buffalo. That's fantastic. You said you have been in eight uh, countrywide touring companies. Yeah. The first time Mike's been able to play here at Shays? Yeah, it's the first time, uh, my eighth, eighth national tour and my first time ever being able to grace the mm. Shays Buffalo stage. You know, it's great, Michael, because we have so many talented people in Western New York, especially the kids, young people, who look up at you performers and say, this is what I want to do. And here you're doing it. I mean, you know, yeah. you have fulfilled that dream, and I understand you went to school at UB. Yeah, I, I uh, went to school at University of Buffalo, and uh, Lynn Kurtzel Fermato was my mentor oh, yeah. there, who I know uh, works a lot here in the city. And um, yeah, she she guided me through, and I did a musical of Godspell in uh, in college, and I was a non-major in theater at the time, I was oh. a math major. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and then I decided, uh, after doing that show, this is what I wanted to do. Uh, my parents supported me uh, with this uh, choice and finished with that degree, moved to New York, and the rest is history. That's yeah. great. Yeah. That is great. You are yeah. making a go of it, sir. So tell us what this show is about. Um, I would say the general theme uh, around the show is that it, it, it tells us uh, for children, it has us, uh, has them, re reminds them that they can dream mm -hmm. and keep them, you know, have their own destiny throughout, um, you know, throughout their life. And especially adults, um, it reminds them to be kids, to be yeah. that dreamer, to be that, you know, you know, find that child in themselves and, you know, have that sense of, of dreaming that way. That's fantastic because yeah. really I'm sure everybody in the show is living their dream, being yeah. an entertainer, and here's kind of what the show is all about. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's, it's, there's nothing like doing what you'd love to do every day. I walk into the theater, um, it's what I wanted to do when I graduated college, and I'm getting to do that every day. That's it's fabulous. Yeah. So what's it like being on the Shea stage? Well, I was, um, as we were talking earlier, is that across, the, across the country, theaters tend to be very large, massive, mm -hmm. you know, I call them barns, I would say. Yeah, they don't I, have much personality. No, right? there's a, yeah, and Shea's has a huge personality, and being an actor on the stage, the audience is so close to you, it's, it feels like an intimate theater oh. as opposed to a, a giant rude, you know sorry. arena it's so good to hear that yeah. yeah and the audiences here are great the audience last night was you know on their feet clapping you know enjoying the show and when the audience is giving that energy and then we're giving it back to them it's like a give and take which is wonderful that is fantastic yeah. listen um, I, I want to ask you from West Seneca traveling now with this show this show is doing really well um, you're in town for a while the weather is incredible. Yeah. I mean, are you, are you going to try and take the rest of the cast members other places in West New York, and are you telling them that it's like this all the time in November? I have. I told them, I said, this is exactly how it is, 12 months go. out of the year, See? you know? You know, when they talk about our weather, this is the way it is. Yeah, and the, um, yeah, I've told, uh, I have a lot of, re being the dance captain of the show, we have a lot of rehearsals this week yeah. where we're um, yeah, putting some new people that are going to be joining the oh, show nice. in, the, in the next week or so, and um, with that going on, I don't have a lot of free time, but there are some people that have asked me, what's to do in yeah. Buffalo? I said, of course, if you want original wings, go to Anchor Bar. Absolutely. You know? um, and then I said, you know, Niagara Falls, yeah. If you haven't gone there, I think it's definitely interesting. Have you drive. seen Canal Side and what we've done down there? I actually oh, have not wait. been, but I heard it's great. Wait, yeah. so you're not going to. When was the last time you were actually downtown in Buffalo with all your traveling and working? I can't even remember. I can't you're just even not remember gonna last believe this is the same town. <clears throat> yeah. It's amazing. So yeah. try to get out while the weather is good. Yeah. And uh, you'll, be, you'll just be so impressed yeah. with what's happening. Now, since this story came from a Roald Dahl novel, do I assume this is a family show? Yes, I think this show is, is it for adults and, ch and children alike. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that it, the, the way our show is driven, it's driven originally from the, you know, taken from the original text. And Dennis Kelly, who wrote the book mm -hmm. uh, for our, our play, uh, took a lot of the original text from the Roald Dahl book and put it into our show. And that children's story is there for the kids That's but great. you also have a lot of um, well and also to the visualization of the show it's very for kids it's it's the visualization of the show is it, there's it's a lot to look at on stage and the adults the story is is 
really uh, intelligent, and I think that it will uh, challenge the mind of the adult. So, Michael, where, what, what role are you playing this week that people can watch for you? Well, I am in the ensemble. Uh -huh. I'm, a, I'm a swing of the show, mm -hmm. so as a swing, I understudy all the ensemble tracks yeah. in the show. That's a lot of roles to know. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> in the ensemble, I will play a school kid. I will play a salsa dancer. I could play a, uh, one of the judges in the salsa number. Um, it's kind of uh, can play a Russian at the end of the show. There's a lot of uh, a lot of different characters that you'll see me as. So are all the Jablonskis <laughs> coming to see you? Yep, my mother was at the show last <laughs> night. Oh gosh, that's good. Can you you know? Can you pick her out in the audience? Can you hear her? Or? Um, yeah, <laughs> you know, I think that my mom. I think good for you, mom, my, might have been there too. And my father definitely gives me the thumbs up when I see him on the audience when we're bowing. You know. So. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that is great. Do you have a favorite part of the show that you want to share with everybody? Yeah, I would say I would say two parts of the show are my favorite. One is uh, doing school song, which we, which in the cast we call the Gates number, uh -huh. and that's when the young children in the show, because there's young children in the show, and then there's also uh, some older kids in the show, and we kind of play similar to each other. And in th that number, um, the younger kids are coming to school for the first day, Aww. and the older kids come and we climb the gates and reach through the gates and it's showing our strength and our you know struggle through being in this school that Miss Trunchbull you know has has us in and then the other number I would say is my favorite is uh, when I grow up which is at the top of act two which is the swings number where we actually swing on stage and amazing it's, it's really wonderful oh, now do the young children travel with you or are they cast locally yep. no the young kids we have 13 children that travel with us no kidding yeah. how, how young are we talking about um, they range anywhere from 9 to 13. Wow, yeah. that is young. Yeah. So they're getting schooling and everything yes, you know, we have, while you're traveling. Yeah, we have two tutors that travel with us on the road, and uh, they, the kids actually, they go to school during the day, and then they're at the show at night. Some kids um, during the show, if they're not performing that evening, are going to school during the evening. Isn't that something? Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's amazing, the life of an actor. Yeah, you know? I, I will say that something that's extraordinary about the show is if you get to come to see the show, the, the extraordinary thing is what these children have to do in the show and the amount of text that they have to memorize, the dance Amazing. choreography that they do in the show. It's really extraordinary to see a 10-year-old doing all this material. Wow. And, and Michael, do you put them through their paces as well as dance captains? Um, yes. I have uh, two assistant dance captains as well. I have, uh, I'm uh, the dance captain of the whole show, and I also have an assistant dance captain, Camden Gonzalez, who is the kids' Amazing. dance captain of the wow. show. Yeah. Well, we got to come and see you. Yeah. Everybody who who still has a ticket for it tonight and while the show is here. You can't miss it. Matilda the Musical, everybody's talking about it this morning. And you're going to enjoy it. Mike Jablonski as well from West Seneca. It's on the stage now through November 8th over at Chase Buffalo. Go and see this incredible troupe. Again, tickets. Log on to Ticketmaster.com or call toll-free 1-800-745-3000.